My name's uh, Lucy Koech. I'm the daughter of Professor Koech. I'm the second born in the family. I'm currently residing in Kansas City. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all to celebrate our dad's success in his career. I want to also thank God for the gift of life that he has given each and every one of us to be able to be here today. I know we may be far away from Kenya, but our daily talks with uh, our dad, he always feels like you're here. I want to thank you for the services you've been providing to University of Kabianga and the community at large. The last few years, you were given a position as deputy vice from 2013 and you stewarded towards success for many students. I know as you continue with your career, we wish you all uh, God blessings in the future endeavors. We love you and a lot of people also love you as a community. We wish you all the best and the memories that reminds me that you're always a hard worker no matter what. You have been doing that for many years. May go. God continue to guide you and God continue to bless you. Thank you. Hey, I'm Preston Kibet, the last born son to Professor Eric Koech and uh, Mrs. Winnie Koech. I am currently pursuing my master's at uh, Austin P. State University in Tennessee, USA. Today, we are here to celebrate a remarkable, exceptional individual, a man, my dad, who has dedicated over four decades of his life uh, towards the advancement and betterment of academia in Kenya, more specifically University of Kabianga. Over the years, I have been a witness to his dedicated journey all the way from being a head of department at University of Eldoret uh, Forestry to being the dean for uh, two terms natural resources uh, to being the chairman of Kenya Forest Service and then eventually being the principal the deputy principal at uh, University of Kabianga. His steadfast dedication and visionary leadership culminated in his uh, pioneer role as the Deputy Vice Chancellor at University of Kabianga. For as long as I can remember, he has woken up at 6 a.m sometimes earlier than that. And this has been a true statement to his um, lifelong dedication to the roles that he has uh, served and to the institutions that he has worked for. He has demonstrated time and again that dedication is not just a word, but is a way of life. Dedication can only be seen through action. As a father, his unwavering support and wise mentorship has guided us through our formative years, all through primary school to university levels. We are not only beneficiaries of his wisdom, but also witnesses to the, the, to the remarkable way in which he has balanced his professional commitments with his responsibilities as a loving parent. As I finish, I would like to congratulate my dad for it is individuals like him 
who inspire us to dream big, strive for excellence, and contribute meaningfully to society. And as we close this chapter in his illustrious journey, let us also embrace the new opportunities that lie ahead. May God bless him and keep him in his love. Congratulations, Dad. Thank you.